Hey, pre-notification gang. Quick text message. Thanks to the resub, Leon. Hold on one second. And the resub rep. There we go. And the resub, Dinky and Sand. And Salsa, Connor, and Solid. Yeah, I don't know how long the Twitter thing's going to last for, but probably not too long. Thanks to the resub kickback bagels, Nick, Chupacabra, Aka, Camino, and the give sub cheese and tier one dude. There's an only up update and it's a bed to skip the train tracks. Oh my god, that's amazing. Thanks to the resub Draco and cheese. And tier one Landon, resub Soggy and John. And resub Christian. Not doing only up tonight though. Some Pulse, Tier 1 Gatsby, and the Prime, Sakai. Apparently the Twitter restrictions are theorized to be related to their self-DDoSing, not data scraping. No, I've seen the theory that it's because of the uh, serv uh, web services. Like, the reason you have to sign in to view tweets is to try and keep their costs a little lower on the back end from the web service hosting. There's Resub Syndrasia and Taha. No, I didn't see that at all, Dolgarin. First I've heard of that. Why is Twitter kicking their user base off? Like I said, the leading theory is because they're not paying the upkeep they need in the back end for their web hosting, or the uh, services. No, I haven't watched it yet. Pringle, I was going to watch it like tomorrow or something. Oh yeah, the One Ring did get found, allegedly. I'm not fully convinced it's real. Oh, they don't have a picture of it on here. Oh wait, was that? Oh, nope. Damn it, Wizards did confirm it. Shit. Yeah, I, I saw the picture. It was PSA graded, which is a big blunder because Beckett was agreeing to do something special for grading it. Next, we said Mackie, Laws, Helix, and the Bits, Gibbs, and Krabby.
We did just announce the Moist Esports Street Fighter 6 rep. Go to the Twitter. Why, do you think it wasn't real? Uh, just copium, really. PSA has graded at least one fake card before, and yesterday, I, well, I guess early yesterday, Wizards didn't confirm it, just PSA. I just find it very hard to believe that it was found that quickly, I guess. There's a tier 1 4 leaf in the Prime Calamity in the resub Arthi. Can't check Twitter, no account. Oh, fuck, wait, you're totally right. Oh my god, wait. Wait, that's a that's actually fucking wildly detrimental for uh for our esports org. Wait, holy shit. I didn't think about that at all. That didn't even fucking cross my mind. Thanks to the 10 gift subs, 4 leaf, and the resub booster, blunt, pargus, moop, and the prime dean. And the gift sub sheesh, and the resub g4. Wow. It makes no fucking sense to me that they would do that shit. Like I said, the leading conspiracy theory is due to their, uh... Uh, back-end hosting services trying to keep that shit low and squeeze by with not paying a ton. Man, I didn't even think about the ramifications for our es for like esports in general, actually. Because almost all of the esports orgs are super active on Twitter as a means of like communicating with the the community. But yeah, our Street Fighter Six pickup is just a kid. <laughs> I'll announce it since literally no one can see it. We got Jack. Wow, that is actually fucking nuts. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's very temporary, like super temporary. Easy tier one T banks. Jesus. Thanks for the use of ACG. Oh, I play Street Fighter 6 on the PC. I don't really console game very much unless I have to, like uh, Final Fantasy. No, I didn't even get to see it before it got released, Butter. But I did, I did see it released. Haven't finished watching it yet, but it's great so far. Thanks to give sub Thrax and the resub split. And the resub jewels. Have you done the icon fight after Titan yet? No, that's where I'm at right now. Thanks to resub Chapo and Mitch. And I haven't watched that yet, Dust and Brody. Thanks to the Prime Step, bro. And you said Mary Jane, and the bit's broken. No, I definitely never box in this. But it was a really cool event. I got to watch a good good chunk of it. 3.4 million concurrent viewers for pretty much the whole thing. This is wrong. I believe it peaked at 3.6 million. And it held like a steady 3.4 for the entire event. It was actually unreal. Everything he does is so top-notch. Like the production quality on everything is unrivaled in the space. Into the resub. Wreck parallel and the gift sub soup. 
Final Fantasy 16 has been pretty good so far. I say pretty good because I don't think it's a masterpiece, but I do really like it a lot. It's a tier 1 chunky. But I am a little underwhelmed with the complete lack of RPG elements as well as the abominable level design. Lack thereof level design. It's just hold forward. What event is this? It's a boxing event held by eBay. It was today. Things of the resub Landon, Mickey in the Prime Wet. You doing the side missions? Yeah, I'm doing a good handful of them, but they haven't been great so far. We we still open them, Scoots. You can have you can have the cards though. I don't really care. People still think that guys like XQC can kill a platform when moving to kick. What? You realize he doesn't hold 3.4 million viewers every stream, right? Even when he's just normally streaming, he's still huge, of course, but this this is uh, not exactly the average here, brother. XQC puts in degenerate hours of, like, actually 18 hours a day and holds usually, like, 50k, so, yeah, I mean... People aren't wrong to be like, that's a, a dent in Twitch's overall viewership since the platform's so fucking top-heavy. And Zuri said Dung and Papaya. Hey! There's just a kid there. Hey, hey! Hope you've had a good day. Also, uh, mentioned it just a moment ago, but didn't even consider the unfortunate circumstances with current Twitter. So most people in chat can't actually see the tweet because of the restrictions now. So I'm just going to have to keep reminding people about the new signing. So hopefully that'll be a very temporary change on Twitter. Thanks to Recep Happy Time East and Goofy. Who the fuck uses Twitter that much? Every unverified account can pretty much hit their limit within three full scrolls. Assuming it's a new account. I think it's three full scrolls on a brand new account. You hit your limit. So then double that if you've had an account for a while. Or uh, no, no, no. Since he upped it to 500, I think it was like four full scrolls or some shit. I don't remember. I was looking at, looking at it before stream and I already forgot. I think it's a bullet. Things the resub galactic. So yeah, very unfortunate timing on that new change today. But we're very excited for just a kid. I like our odds in Street Fighter, with him leading the charge. No, we're not doing only up today. Probably just gonna go over shit for a little while, and then, assuming the stream's not lagging, I'll actually probably grind a little bit of Street Fighter Six to celebrate. I want to try out another new character that doesn't use charge. Things are some dampest. Things a tier one Kilroy. The resub doodle. Did you see Howie Mandel's apology song for the prolapse? Nah, but I bet it bangs.
only up got banned off Steam anyway. No shot. No shot it got banned off Steam. Oh, only up pulled from Steam over the stolen assets. <clears throat> oh, now it's back. It's already back. Yeah, it, so it was... Uh, here, I'll just bring it down. Looks like it was off for only a few hours. Thanks you resub ghost and Theo. Oh wow, they're even speedrunning getting banned. Yeah. I mean half their assets are fucking stolen, so you know. One of those things. Thanks the the bits kev. You can beat all the Fallout games faster than you can beat Gollum. Well, yeah. The Gollum speed runs like three hours and some change, so of course. Bloodborne's my favorite Soulsborne game. He's the prime Mew. What's your highest ranked character in Street Fighter 6? Actually, is it... Is it Dalsim? I think it's Dalsim. Not sure. But I'm going to try a new one tonight. I'm pretty sure Marissa doesn't use charge, right? Thanks if I give subs, Chasen. Play jury for Jack. I don't know. Jury's tough. <laughs> Jury's might be a little out of my realm of expertise. You have to know like your own skill level, and I don't know if I can do jury. Thanks to the prime. S Skinner. I think she's one of the only characters marked as hard, and rightfully so. I think resub Trevro. And the Prime Bill. Thanks for another five gift subs, Jason. Yeah, just a kid's jury main. And the five gift subs, Kav. Thank you for that. How long do you think Twitter will be able to have this change before they remove it? No clue. Legitimately no clue. Thanks for the bits, chicken. That's what I was talking about a minute ago, Naruto. And the Resub Temple. That conspiracy theory on the Twitter changes. And yeah, unfortunately, the one the one ring was found. The one ring is gone. There's your resub serene. In Plu. Ooh. 
Yeah, I know. It got found so quick. I didn't think that would happen. I thought it'd be, like, actual months, but... Looks like they played legit. No, I'm sure they'll turn it in for the $2 million bounty. No shot that they're just going to hold on to it. They'd be the dumbest person on earth. Is it by an influencer? No, I don't think so. I think it's just a completely random person, which is good. Is the resub shadow? A bit soups. <clears throat> What is that, like a, a video soup? Thanks for 10 gift subs, Kav. Appreciate the generosity. What was the point of them getting it PSA graded? I don't know. If they were going to get it graded, it should have been by Beckett because they were offering to do like a really cool slab. Thanks for sub Adwad. And Sinister. And Apple. Mm-hmm. Now it's on Musk vs. Elon. Never happening. Is it Prime Dinner and Envy? There's some Mark in Raining. You see, Italy offered the Colosseum for their fight. No, all that's just like goofy stuff, though. None of that's real. Things are sub zero. Oh, quick, text quick text message. And the resub crying. What do you think is the best alternative to Twitter as of today? Going outside. I don't know. There's no alternative. This was something we just talked about recently, but I think it's a good point. Everything's become so centralized. Like, if you need advice, help on anything, or just general conglomerate of information, you go to, like, Reddit. Instead of, like, back in the day, you'd go to a ton of forums if you need, like, real-time shit posting, real-time breaking everything, you go to Twitter, as opposed to going to a bunch of different other sources and forums from back in the day. It's, like, really convenient, but also really upsetting in a lot of ways. I miss the days of a lot of, like, other forums popping up, so you get different groups as opposed to everything being so... Unified is definitely not the right word, because no one's ever on the same page on the platforms... But just everything being so centralized. Things a bit soup in the resub courage. What, you want MySpace? I just want other options. Like, l let's think about Reddit. What are the alternatives to Reddit? Reset era, I guess, if you just want to whine about nothing forever. But that's it. Just literally whining about, like, games. And then I don't think there's anything else. And then Twitter. I think there's only, what, Gab? 4chan? 4chan's just sh more shitposty. 4chan, I feel, would be more of an alternative to Twitter as opposed to Reddit. I don't know why people are saying Qora. Who the fuck uses Qora? Thanks, Reese of Amateur and Dim.
Tumblr's super dead. Tumblr's worthless. Also, nothing like Reddit at all. Once again, that's just another, like, shit post site. Or art dump. Isn't it pronounced Cora? I don't know. I don't use it. Shit's worthless. Anytime I type a question into Google and get a Cura, Cora, whatever response, I know for a fact it's a completely worthless place to visit, so I never even bother. I've never once seen anything of worth on that place. It's trash. Now, Cora is so much worse than Yahoo Answers. It's not even comparable. At least it didn't give subs famine. Uh, maybe you're right then, Arrow. Maybe that's why I just never hear of it. Is Risa Brizen. You're smoking crack? What are you talking about? Cora fucking sucks. You can ask it any question and you will just get nothing but the worst possible responses that aren't even close to being right. For example, actually, I just did this the other day because I didn't mean to click on uh, Qora, but I accidentally did when looking up a One Piece question. I asked on Google... I said, when does, this is going to be a One Piece spoiler, when does Nico Robin rejoin the Straw Hat Pirates? The first response was Korra. And it literally gave me th three different Korra ones. All three were wrong. Actually wrong. One of them said, Nico Robin doesn't leave the Straw Hat Pirates and then goes into her backstory on like who she is and this and that. Another one said like she doesn't rejoin until like after Marine Ford, which is again fucking wrong. It, like, it, it just, you get nothing of value from fucking Korra. That site is terrible. You want to spoil yourself? I already know everything about it, because Tiana binged all of it, so I pretty much know all the main components of it. I was just curious how much longer it would be till she rejoins, because I always, <laughs> I always get kind of impatient. I'd rather just know. Because then I kind of have a gauge on when the arc's coming to an end. So that way I don't accidentally watch filler again. Is there some cosmic in American football? The bits arrow. Cora is cool for opinion questions. I feel like that's like the worst place to get opinions from if they can't even answer factually identifiable answers correctly. Like I could have just went to the One Piece wiki, but Cora was ahead of it. Is there some mammoth? Has that idol show released the fifth episode? Not till tomorrow at nine. Thanks the resub. Chalupa. Bro judging the whole platform because of one piece wrong info. I is there such thing as a core enthusiast? Like it why why is there a core defender here? It sucks. That was just the most recent example I could pick from. I have legitimately never once gotten a single good answer to anything I've ever asked on Google from Cora. That site is fucking trash. Resub Sinzin and Gnarly. Oh, yeah, I did see that on Twitter. I didn't watch it though, Biz. How did it go? 
Yeah, we're going to do some Street Fighter tonight. I want to try Marissa. You see they're making an Avatar The Last Airbender game. I feel like I heard about it, but I've already forgotten. There's the Bits Boy. The Small Soldiers trailer. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Is this it? War for Necron? Oh, it's a Proof of Concept trailer. Okay, this isn't like a big promo piece, is it? Seems like it's more of a passion project. Yeah, it seems like it's fan-made. Oh, that's not the one. Still looked pretty impressive just from... <laughs> just from the couple of seconds. Things of the bits Naruto and the Prime Souls. Yeah, the original Small Soldiers was great. But you didn't know it was PG-13. Went hard. Things of Prime Zent and the resub gift. No, that is the one. Oh, okay. They also had a really cool game on, I believe it was the PlayStation 1. Unreal Engine 5's nuts. Thanks, Resub Jason. Is this like a sequel? No, I don't believe so. This is a proof of concept. And I'd say the concept's looking great. Is it a game or a movie? I think it's supposed to be a movie. Easy Risa Binch. God, this shit is so cool. This is brand new and yet I'm still getting nostalgic because of small soldiers from back in the day. Okay, I don't want to spoil the whole thing. I'll finish watching it later. I'll leave everyone blue bulb so you can finish it on your own. What is it, though? No. It's clearly done by, like, a full studio. So it's got, like, real weight behind the project. Here's the Prime Cam and the Resub Chaos. New Sub Sigmundo. That's always so weird. What do you mean? Imagine being a React Andy who doesn't react. Brother, I haven't done that in over a year. Or, well, CoffeeZilla, but that was six months ago. And CoffeeZilla and I used to talk about the videos. 
So I have literally only ever watched like friends content over the last year with their permission. And even then I haven't done it in like six months. Or movie and game trailers. I am excited for Jujutsu Kaisen. Zirisabvik. Zirisab Musen. Bleach and Jujutsu Kaisen are next week. Oh yeah, Hell's Paradise just ended. I felt like the final episode was a really weird stopping point. And you're right, I saw that. Golem devs closed. Thanks <clears throat> a five goose subs, Ollie. Why? What happened? I don't know. The game was an absolute flop. We kind of got clowned on really hard, too, for it. I'm also guessing this was a very expensive endeavor for them. And it didn't pay off. Oh, yeah. They also did announce recently that they were working on another Lord of the Rings game after Gollum. But I guess that's no more. Yet they're still going out with a bang. They're going to keep updating Gollum, thank God. And they're releasing a Nintendo Switch version. Yeah, I don't know why, but alright. This is always so weird. In our review of Lord of the Rings Gollum, we gave it a 4 out of 10. We said the game is filled with dull stealth, bad platforming, a pointless story, and does little to justify why anyone should take the time to play it. Why did you give it a 4 out of 10 then? That sounds like a 2. Is there some engineer slide and Jacob? I'll check it out too. Just not tonight. Thanks for some DeLorean. There is some Mercurius and Bits Arrow. Three and below should be crashes all the time or straight up doesn't boot a one. I totally disagree. I think everyone's been so contaminated by IGN grading where if it's a five, it's dog shit. If it's a seven, it's like, okay, like almost worth playing. And then an eight is average. I think that's stupid. I think that's a very dumb way of doing it. Zeri sub Snorlato evade in Supa. It does suck because Datalik was behind good point and click games. Yeah, I legitimately feel bad for the studio. Like, actually, I feel bad for them. This is their first game that wasn't point and click. I, I don't know if it was their decision to, you know, shy away from point and click, but they shouldn't have done it with this. I think if you're going to try a new genre, maybe dip your toes in it first. So that way you don't release something this bad. Like maybe release a smaller indie game. Get your bearings.
Let's do some Taekwondo. And Hubie. Okay, but it's actually not worse than Redfall. No, but it, like, actually is worse than Redfall. Like, you can objectively say it is worse than Redfall. Redfall is not far behind it. Like, it's only marginally better, but Gollum is definitely worse. Is it Prime Spooky? Were you the one that recommended that, like, a month ago, Jay? Or am I thinking of something else? Because, yeah, I did see something for Spawn, and I think it was probably that. Thanks, Arisa, Enigma. Just wanted to say, I think the fact... Just want to say, I think the fact I saw God Slap in my local comic shop was awesome. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, God Slap's in a good handful of comic shops now, which is very nice. Thanks, Arisa, Young. In the Plague Seeker animation, the, our other comic, that animation will be out. Should be mid this week, I believe. So we're on the come up. Things the bits Taekwondo. And the resub amateur. Yeah, I'm excited for the Barbie movie. It's going to be great. If you were to ever make a game, what genre would it, would it be? I've had a banger idea for a game for actual years, but no way of making it. One day. I'm not giving anything away. I don't want any vultures to steal it. These are bits of turtles and Jay. That's my game. It's an innovative new idea that doesn't play by the rules. Oh, gotcha, Jay. But yeah, I think I saw what you're talking about. Apparently Indiana Jones 5 has a fresh score on Rotten Tomatoes and yet the Mario movie is still rotten. Wait, what do you mean? I don't know why you're comparing the two, but I, I am curious. I've heard nothing but bad things about Indiana Jones 5. And it did not look very good. Unfortunately. Are oh, you talking about from critics? Yeah, it's worthless. But then again, so is the audience score. I think audience score is equally worthless because Plane has like a 93%. Rotten Tomatoes audience score is literally only people that absolutely love it or absolutely hate it. There's never any, like, legitimate, like, reviews. It's only, I went into this knowing I'm going to love it and will convince myself that no matter what, I did love it. Or, I went into this knowing I was going to hate it, so no matter what, I'm going to hate it. And that's it. It's fucking worthless on both sides. Plane is not good. <laughs> it's just not. Things are you said, Tornadoes and Purple Zeo. It's not even fun bad. It's an action movie, but they forgot the action. So it has all the cheese of like a classic action movie with none of the action. It's fucking worthless. They gave you the burger and forgot all of the toppings. Things are you Zombina. Things the resub checkers. And the resub McNugget. 
What video game do you think would make a banger movie slash series? None of them. I, I don't think there's any game that lends itself naturally to movies, aside from things that are like... I actually think The Last of Us was pretty seamless. Like, that one was so free. So I guess more game... I guess like more really narrative-driven games... Is the resubs Smeed. Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, that'd be another one that'd fall in there. God of War, I think, is going to be trash. I think the God of War show is going to be horrible. You can't have games that rely too heavily on things that are going to require special effects. It's going to look so fucking goofy. The entire VFX industry is overworked and underpaid. There is no way they're going to be able to knock God of the War effects out of the park, and you're going to need a lot of them. Last of Us works because you don't really need any of that. Yeah, I'll have to do another one, Taekwondo. Maybe next year I'll do another update to that tier list. That being said, why don't they make more animated stuff? Too expensive, they don't bother. I wish there was more animated stuff. I'd love more things like Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I would love that. Things are prime dutiful. Last of Us had a lot of CGI. There's a difference between CGI and things like magic powers, right? So, for example, having Thor fly around, if they were, to, let's say they took God of War, Ragnarok, and, well, they, they are making a God of War show. So, let's say they go all the way up to Ragnarok, they have Thor. Thor flying around with his hammer, shooting lightning and shit like that. Kratos then going in the Spartan rage, having all kinds of particle effects and all that shit needing to be captured in live action would be fucking horrible. Oh, true, the World Serpent alone would kill the fucking budget. Thanks to Reese of Allen and Gamer. Oh, it is all CGI, of course, but it's different kinds. There's a huge difference between, like... In Last of Us, I know they did a lot of CGI for some of the background work. There's a huge difference between making a convincing background and a convincing magic spell. <laughs> like, it's a huge fucking difference. Or having, like, convincing, like, uh, undead glowing enemies that also blow up into like magic effects you'll end up having it look like a cw show is it tier one earl I think a Destiny animated series could be cool. There's so much lore to be awesome to see on screen. Um, yeah. M maybe they should learn how to, like, actually tell the story, though. Lightfall was a disaster on that regard. Took them an additional three months just to drop what the fuck the veil is. Is the reset Metal Gear. At least God of War has Cory Balrog at the helm, whereas Halo showrunner were smoking crack. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm willing to be very wrong, and God of War turns out to be a great show. I just don't have a ton of confidence in it. Thanks to give sub John. I would love to see it succeed, though. I love God of War. Thanks to resub H. Or, I keep saying Balrog. <laughs> Whatever. You know who I meant.
I think he's a tier one orange. In the prime six. You're negative about everything, at least have some positivity. What are you talking about, man? I feel like I'm significantly more positive about things than I am negative. For example, Final Fantasy 16. I went into that expecting it to be game of the year. I had nothing but incredible impressions of everything. Great attitude about all of it. And it's good, but it's not game of the year. Like, I go in to a lot of things with high expectations. No, I haven't finished it yet. Uh, I'm just after the Titan icon. So, we're getting there. I'm going at a leisurely pace. Rancid Taste, definitely game of the year. It's a good game, it's definitely not game of the year. No shot. Absolutely no shot. Brother, there is no such thing as a level design in that game. It is hold forward for mob... And then hold forward for next mob. And now here's your cutscene. The cutscenes are great though. I love the story. Side quests have been terrible so far, but apparently they get good. Thanks, you resub, Billy. Oh, also the pseudo open world is beyond barren and worthless. The only reason to ever engage with the open world is either to bang out a side quest or just do a little bit of farming. There is nothing else. Absolutely nothing. The hunts are cool. Agreed. The hunts are cool. I've done a few of the hunts so far. Those are nice. Do you prefer Final Fantasy 15 or 16? Oh, 16. For sure. I still think it's a good game. It's just... I went in with such an incredibly high bar that... I can't help but be a little underwhelmed because of how awful the fucking levels are. They're not levels. They're literally not levels. Like, I don't mind linearity, but this isn't linearity. This is actually just, here's two mobs in a cutscene. Forever, so far. Thanks, Resub Animaniac. They needed dungeons and fun minigames to make the world better. It's absolutely my biggest gripe. Couldn't agree more. I am shocked that there's not dungeons. I thought for sure when I was reaching... Well, I'm still like in mid-game. But I thought for sure when I was approaching mid-game, they'd introduce dungeons as a concept. I couldn't believe it. Thanks, the five gift subs. She love and breath... I'll start speedrunning Gollum pretty soon. You hear about the influencer who faked her child getting kidnapped. Yeah. Unless there's a new one. Did this just happen? Because if you're talking about the parking lot lady... I already... I made a whole video on that. Thanks, you resub swan. Thanks, you resub bob. Will Tears of the Kingdom win Game of the Year? It's definitely one of the front runners. I 
Things a tier one can finding. Is the combat at least decent in Final Fantasy 16? I love the combat. I think the combat is great. Hold on, quick text message. Mm, thanks for the... Oh, I already said that. Oh, no, I didn't. Thanks for the resub, Stark. Makes resub spiky in the prime chop. I'm um, I'm gonna see Indiana Jones soon. I just haven't had a chance to see it yet. We've had our esports guys in town for boot camps, so we've been doing a lot. You haven't dropped an anime moist meter in a while. Why is that? Not true at all. I just made a whole. Well, it wasn't a moist meter. I made a whole video about Vinland Saga season two being slept on. Thoughts on Overwatch 2 PvE being rated super mid. Who's surprised? I'm surprised anyone's even playing it, honestly. I don't know how many chances people are going to give to Overwatch before they finally just say enough is enough. Oh, I'm sorry, just one more second. Okay. Oh yeah, Overwatch has an anime coming out. Good point. Maybe that's what's going to finally save it. It's coming out in five days as well. Rejoice, Overwatch fans. This will solve all the problems. They want to be cyberpunk so bad. Well, everyone wants to be cyberpunk so bad because that, that went so hard. It's going to be mid. I'm expecting it to be far below mid. I really... I said this before... I really feel like Overwatch is going to be an extremely hard story to make interesting for like an animation or an animated format. Shorts work fine for the characters to introduce them, but I just don't think they really have any real meat to make it interesting, to make like an actual fun universe out of. And I was hoping I'd be proven wrong with Overwatch too, but you know how that all, play all played out there, so that was cool. They released a trailer, right? Oh, here it is. Thanks, the resub CJ. Overwatch on site. Taking heavy fire. Sky, confirm target. 
You've been spotted! You've been spotted! Get out of here, Sky! Get out of here! Life before the war was extraordinary. It's loud. We were loud no longer defined by our mistakes. The AIs were saving us from them. But we had no idea. It was all about to change. This definitely isn't fan made. I actually think this looks like quality wise decent. Unless it's a very talented group of fans. Through freedom, you can find your own path. I mean, like, yeah, as far as the quality goes, I think the animated quality of it looks fine. God Slap looked better. Goddamn right it did. Well, that's because God Slap is top tier animation. Thanks, Risa Retro. And me. And the resub, Melissa. Man, they're desperate. Well, yeah, man. Of course they're fucking desperate. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very much so. They need a W somewhere, and it's not coming from their game, so they're trying anything else. Thanks, resub tan. The resub jazz. How long until they cancel the animation and give YouTube sh give people YouTube shorts instead? Yeah, they're gonna have to sideline the animation so they can focus on the game. This is the resub. Here we go. And Borvik. The resub Eben. And Chaos. Is your take on the whole kick situation? You going to move? Do you think Twitch is going to stay around? Uh, going to move? No. Like I said, when my contract's up, I'm going to try YouTube streaming, but I am open to trying kick streaming. And a little more open to it now after their recent announcement, how you can just toggle off gambling as a viewer. I think that's a huge move. Twitch itself doesn't even have that. For example, if I did an ad break right now, there's a very high chance you'd get a DraftKings ad. So... Kick doing that I actually think is actually huge. So you won't see any gambling ads or you wouldn't even see the category with the toggle on. So that's actually a huge move. Thanks to the resub Majora. But yeah, the main one I want to try after my contract is YouTube. But I am very much keeping keeping up with everything Kick's doing. It really seems like they're trying to distance themselves and make real separation between the streaming platform and stake. Because again, Twitch doesn't even do that. Gambling categories are top 20 on Twitch all the time and one of their biggest ad partners is DraftKings and you cannot opt out of seeing those ads. I don't know if I'll moist meter Hell's Paradise or not. I haven't decided yet. I did like it, though. DraftKings equals stake. Got it. What? Gambling equal gambling. In fact, sports betting is legitimately cited by all studies as the most, like, addictive form of gambling that gets people into it as the biggest gateway. Because sports gambling has become so normalized. Which I didn't even know. I used to believe that sports gambling was, like... You know, light gambling, like fantasy football with the boys, or you do like the uh, you get free five dollars for your fantasy football team to start here. It's sports. Sports gambling is still bad. <laughs> like it's still bad, 
Very much so. All gambling is. It's not even really a debate. Things you resub Ginny. At least it's regulated. Yeah, I mean, at least you get your gambling addiction through a regulated casino. I guess that makes sense. I do agree unregulated gambling isn't good either. Obviously. But gambling addiction is gambling addiction whether you get it from a regulated source or an unregulated one. They're both still awful. But I would agree that unregulated is worse, for sure. If you're gonna get hooked, if you're gonna get hooked on one gambling, might as well get the uh, name brand gambling, I guess. Thanks to the resub mega. Things in tier one, Chuck. Oh, I'm going to play some more Street Fighter Six tonight. Marissa, I want to try. Might I try the AEW game at some point? Probably not. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the WWE is trying to get regulators to approve betting on matches. Never happening. We went over that. There's, there is no shot they're going to allow sports betting on WWE matches. They're fucking scripted. You could, you could absolutely cash out hard, easily. There, so there's no way that's ever going to work. But I, we did talk about it. They were trying to lobby for sports betting to be extended to scripted events. But there's no way it's actually going to happen. Thanks you resubbed yellow. I want to bet on the Harlem Globetrotters every game. <laughs> True. Yeah. So many people would leak the scripts for a bit of cash, it would go to shit so fast. Well, not only that, even as a spectator, you, a lot of times, kind of know how a storyline's going. It's, it's, and Jesus Christ, anyone that actually is on the inside, the fraud would be unreal. It's just not gonna happen. I don't, like, there's no point in even toying around with the idea. There will never come a time, I'm gonna look so stupid if this does happen, but I don't think there will ever come a time when they will actually allow sports betting on scripted events. It would be the biggest, biggest fraud cases ever. But it would really highlight just how insidious all of that shit really is. Things in tier one soup, the prime colossi.
Sports aren't scripted. I'm tired of that conspiracy theory. It's fun to toy around with the idea of it, but the people that really believe sports are scripted actually hurt my brain. I do think refs are corrupt. I think in a lot of sports, or, uh, in a lot of sports, there are some refs that are legitimately corrupt. But as a whole, the sport itself is not fucking rigged. If it was rigged, the Heat would have won the NBA Finals this year. They shouldn't have even fucking been there. It was a miracle they even made it there, and then they got absolutely stomped. But yeah, I think a lot of the refs are corrupt. For sure. That's not really a conspiracy. You made a video on the Super Bowl saying it was rigged for the Chiefs? Jesus Christ, no, I did not. <laughs> I made a joke about that, but no, I was just talking about the ref. Like, like Exactly what I'm talking about right now. There, I think there are a lot of refs that are legitimately corrupt. There's a resub fly, OB, Sage, and Inferno. No, you can't do that yet, Jay, but they're trying to make that a reality. Thanks to resub crafts. You know, here, I'll look it up. I don't think they're far along. I think they're I think they're still getting shut down. Yeah, no. This shit got shut down. This last update's from March. Things of Prime Kratos. There's no way this will happen. Esports betting would be so cool. Esports betting is already a thing, and I promise you it is very far from so cool. It's like single-handedly ruining Valorant at a high level. Thanks, a resub. Oh, good to see you, Maki. Hope you're doing well. You see the first approved flying cars available for pre-order? Did not see that. I bet it's a pile of shit, though. Guys, I don't have a negative outlook on everything. Brother, what are you talking about? I've been so vocal about how awful flying cars would be. Take all of the day-to-day -day problems of driving with the worst drivers on the road and then put that in the air and everything becomes instantly a thousand times more deadly. A flying car society is a death sentence. That is something I've been very vocal about for so long. That's not just like a random negative outlook. I think it's a terrible idea. Zerisa Patty woke up in the prime potato. This is a bit zero. Does anyone know how loud aircrafts can be? I don't even think the the deafening sound would be the biggest problem.
Things of the bits ring. You can gamble for WWA, WWE here in Australia, which makes zero sense. Well, I know you can gamble on, like, obscure shit, but this is, like, to reg... Like, this is going to actual gambling regulators to try and lobby for scripted betting. Or betting on scripted matches. It's a little different than just going to some obscure betting place for degenerates. Then you go to a regulated gambling place for degenerates to bet on fucking scripted matches. You can literally bet on anything, though, right now. Just not through the approved services. There are people betting on the submarine. Whether or not it'd be, like, rescued and all that, or how long they'd live down there. That's the reason of Apple and the Prime CBL. The reason this is a headline is because they're trying to get it actually going into the big gambling services through the regulators. Which will never happen. And shouldn't happen. Betting is becoming increasingly ridiculous. I, you know, I've never looked it up. I'm curious. I wonder how much betting has been on the rise with the advent of things like DraftKings and shit being so normalized everywhere. It's got to be, like, popping off. Because I see this all the time now with people doing, like, the wildest bets on shit. What would I even look up? Gambling prevalence? Like, 2010 verse now? Maybe like, 2010 verse 2020. Statewide gambling prevalence in Maryland. These are the prime cars. I want like an all-encompassing one though. But maybe that's like too big. Yeah, it's, it's mainly state by state it seems. Have you seen this? Have you seen the insane data of car chases? No, what is it? Is there some model? Have you seen that you can bet on the next pope legally? You can bet on the next pope? Wait, how do you even know who to choose from? Do they have like a website for all the bishops with like hero shots and shit? Let me see. Oh yeah, wait, no, oh, whoa. Wait, this is on one of the regulated ones? Yeah, right now, uh, the leading one is Luis Antonio Gakum Tegel. That's your front runner right now for the uh, next Pope. According to the odds. That's actually so wild. <laughs> cool. Who's the underdog? Right now, the biggest underdog is tied with Cardinal Peter Erdo and Cardinal Odilo Pedro Schreerer. Those are, those are the underdogs right now. Thanks for the bits. Two. Yeah, that was in uh, Iowa, right? This 
scripted Pope bets. They could make it. Honestly, the Vatican could make a huge move when the Pope dies. They could just check the odds here because this is this is one. It seems to be like a pretty large betting pool, I, I guess. So they could just look at the odds and be like, "All right, give it to Odilo, and then we'll cash in." How old is the Pope? I don't know. He's got to be like 80 or some shit. Let's see. 86. Yeah. Damn. He looks pretty... He looks pretty good for 86. He's 80? No, it says he's 86. 86 year old Pope returned to the modest Vatican City. There he is. Waving. Saying, hey. Yeah, I saw it. I haven't watched it yet. I, I saw that it released. I haven't watched it yet, though. He's a resub rebus. The Cardinals can technically do a wild play and choose a random bishop to become the best pope. That would be wild. But I think they have to be in the pool, right? So they'd be doing themselves a big disservice if they did that. He's a prime baron. Can they bet on themselves? Yeah, yeah, of course they could. They could absolutely rig it, for sure. He's a prime soggy. And the tier one, Evan. Is there a Pope draft? I don't know how they choose. They should have, like, some kind of event for it, like a competition. Like, who can exercise the most demons in X amount of time? That'd be, like, a super cool way of, of figuring out who's most qualified. Just go on, like, this exorcism spree. Is the resub cord cosmic and the prime apprehensive? Look up the Pope voting process, it's wacky. The current procedure was established by Pope John Paul II in his Ooh. constitution. It was amended by Pope Benedict in twenty or two thousand seven and twenty thirteen. So a two thirds supermajority vote is required to elect the new Pope. It's called the Papal Concave Conclave, excuse me. Wow, this is a very long procedure, Jesus. Yeah, it sounds like there's a ton of moving par moving parts. <sighs> there's a recent unicorn in the prime crack. There's some grandissimo in prime drone.
Oh, that sounds cool, Christian. Yeah, I'll take a peek. No, apparently you have to be like a single male Catholic, and that's the only requirement. So you don't even really need to be a bishop or anything. Did you know there's a real Wikipedia article called List of Sexually Active Popes? What do you mean? Hmm? There's only one pope. Oh, 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 oh. Like throughout history. I see. Well, this is an interesting article. Wow, even St. Peter, huh? Is it Reese of Oblivion? Yo, those early pro the early popes were wild and... Yeah. Most of them had children, too. It looks like our current pope is not on the list. The most recent pope to fuck is... Pope Leo. No. Yeah, wow, Pope Leo in 1859, or, I'm sorry, 1829 was the last Pope to get some pussy, I guess. The resub greasy drop in the gifts of mercy. Just got better at hiding it. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Most likely. Yeah, yeah. Pope Leo had three children. <sighs> Not married. Well, they can't marry. Popes aren't allowed to be married. These are some trash, prodigy, and gifts of mercy. Pope Peter, the first pope, had a wife, and they changed it because of St. Augustine. Why? Why did they change it for St. Augustine? Now I'm now I'm really deep into the Pope lore, Christ. Man, it's just, it's so fucking upsetting that Google is always listening. It's I'm tired of it and I'm tired of people pretending it's not real. I googled one thing about the Pope a minute ago and I went to a brand new window and all I typed in is why. And the first thing that comes up is, why can't a woman be Pope? Not exactly what I was asking, but it's it monitors actually fucking everything. It's so frustrating. Okay, let's see why they changed it. It's called the Rules of Celibacy. And it's been upheld for 900 years. Well, loosely. <laughs> loosely. Doesn't say what, why St. Augustine did it. Yeah, I don't see anything about St. Augustine being the one to change it. Is the prime Kanye and resub crack and two give subs tesseract? And the resub Hades.
Pope Lord does go wild. Agreed. Ugh. Thanks, Resub Geo. Pope Alexander the Sixth loved watching horses fuck in front of him, and allegedly once had a soup, once had a supper called the Banquet of Chestnuts, where he had fifty naked women pick up chestnuts in front of his entire family for fun. Did you did you mean to type horses? What a what a baffling bit of lore. I don't even feel like looking it up, to be honest. I'll just, I'll just assume it's real. I don't know. Thanks to give sub stupidity and the resub goat. And the resub Kamal. Any plans for tonight? Just going over some wacky shit, and then I'm doing some Street Fighter. Moist Esports just signed our first Street Fighter 6 player, so I'm celebrating with a little grinding. We signed Just the Kid. He plays Jury. I'm not going to play Jury, though. Jury's way too hard for me, so I'm doing something a little easier. I'm going to try Marissa. Pope Stephen put a past Pope's body on trial because he hated him. That's quite the grudge. Poor guy couldn't even defend himself. Unless he brought, like, the Holy Spirit down. No, it is apparently all that Pope stuff is real. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going off what I read. I wasn't there. I don't know if Pope Alexander did that shit. I have no clue. So this is where the PVE budget went. No. <laughs> no, that budget didn't go anywhere. There was no such thing. I'm going to go fill up my water, take a tinkle, and then we're going to start the Street Fighter 6 grind a little bit. Give me two seconds. Alright, I'll be right back.
tier one fruit and the reset golden meta and rabbit have we seen the new granny root no which one the original granny has a new root i'll check it real quick but then i'm going to street fighter actually i'll just check it here Oh, from six days ago. Wait, this is brand new. Thanks to the five gift subs, Tesseract, and the resub God Fiend. So it's mainly just the beginning of the run that's different. Nope, this is different. Man, this looks so much more complicated than the one I used to run. Jesus Christ. Yikes. No shot. This is crazy, though. Big innovation. Good lord. You see the French president blamed the riots on video games. Yeah, but that's just like the very normal thing for old people to do. Video games is just by far the easiest scapegoat. Thanks for your sub Soren. Why isn't this, uh... What's going on? She's... She doesn't want to come up! What the fuck is happening? Okay, let's, uh, let's reopen. Oh, there we go. I tried alt tab as well. She just did not want to come up. Street Fighter Six. All right, let's try Marissa. Did you know there's a bug in Street Fighter that basically guarantees you break throws even while moving? Oh, that won't be around long then. That's got to get fixed. ASAP. Fighting ground. Practice. Double cross. So she doesn't use charge, right? If I remember correctly. No, good. Is the resub running? It's already patched. Well, that's good. Thanks to tier one speedy. Hmm. 
Oh, too slow. Thanks, if you said Schultz. You son of a bitch. Hold on, I gotta get warmed up again, goddamn. It's been like, what, a week? A week since my last grind? Things are used to Alithion in the Prime Horoscope. Hearts of Iron 4. That sounds familiar, but I don't remember what that is. Things are used catastrophe. Going on? How am I not hitting that? Oh, there we go. It's going too slow. What is this? Wait. Oh, it's just normal, I see. Damn it. God damn it. What what am I doing wrong? Thanks, you resub gamer. Come on, damn it! Why am I not hitting this anymore now? See, isn't it this? Why do I keep getting the other one? Am I not hitting it hard enough? I keep getting that. Because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be that. Thanks, Resub Zephyr. Watch the example. Well, I think I'm doing it right. I just keep getting the wrong thing. See, like, for some reason I keep getting that, instead of that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Golem speedrun's now under three hours, that's huge. See, like, how am I getting that? Because this is just me holding back. Plus that. This is what I need to be getting, but that's not what I'm getting. So when I do this, I, I, like I, I kept the same input. That was me holding it down. I don't understand. See, I, like I didn't do anything different there. I think I just can't hold it there. No, that's the, what, what the fuck is happening? Because I can do it just fine outside of using the modern buttons here. But then when I do this plus modern, I get that every time. No, I, I, I know what it's supposed to be. I'm just, for some reason, not getting that input when I do the modern combo. So when I do this, I get that every time on my input. Let me just try something. No, because that's EX there. But that worked for some reason. Okay. God damn it. Where are you going? Strike dreams. One more. 
Damn it. I need to resub Chewy. No, I don't need the inputs on. There we go. He's just using the auto. It's actually really fucking me up. God damn it, I keep doing that. These are the bits Elmer in the resub realm. Or Selmer. Thoughts on Berserk? I really like Berserk a lot. What did I do wrong there? Isn't that like exactly what I wanted? Things are reset lazy. What am I doing wrong? Wait, why is that not working? Is that. <laughs> you held it. I didn't hold it. That's just normal tap right there. That was just one tap. We can't see what the input should be. Oh, well, I mean, you can still watch it, though. It's just supposed to be a neutral special. Just a normal Gladius. But, like, I'm... Th that's, like, 100% it, but I'm not getting, like, the normal Gladius. I'm getting the stronger one. Yeah, and that's me holding it down. Okay, maybe I need to wait a second. Okay. I'm not doing EX on purpose, it's doing EX automatically because it's making me do two auto combos. Oh, there we go. Finally. I just needed to wait an extra second. The resub Longador and Lorbin. Next, the resub Septic. So fast. It's too slow. That's still too slow. That's too fast. What the fuck? I'm having a hard time with this one. Thanks, you reset lunatic. Basically mash the second one. This is me mashing it. Oh, oh right. Oops. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm doing backdash. Okay. Let's see how it goes in ranked. Of course I'll play Mortal Kombat 1 when it comes out. Here comes a new challenger. Oh god damn it, I forgot to change my character. Shit. Okay. Next thing. Gotta do this. Come on. Prepare. Let's see if I still remember how to play him. Unknown. Oh, who got it first? Him? Or me? Damn. Uh. That's right. What? I was too slow on that? Well, okay, okay. Run that back. Uh, I'm going, I'm going to Marissa. I want to try Marissa. But that was rough. I could not get anything going there. Okay. That, I'm having the hardest time with that. Every, he's actually just doing that at a disadvantage every single time. It's crazy. Back to fundamentals. Okay. Easy tier one star, the prime said. It's been three. Finally learned that you can jump out of that. Not that time though. Uh, he gets me on that every fucking time. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Oh no. Yikes. Uh, I choked.
I could have I could have had that. That's on me. Man. Unlucky. Let's try Marissa. You watching the Red Bull thing tomorrow? What time is it? Here comes a new challenger. No, I know you can still input manually on Modern. I just don't really bother. What's her overhead? Doesn't she have one? Oof. Pretty sure she just doesn't have it on modern. Uh -oh. Wait, what is her? Uh, what's her like? Uh, where she puts the two hand? Where she like throws up the defensive stance? Where I can have a couple options out. What, I forgot what that move was. God damn it! That one. Oh. Okay, it's her forward special. What was that? He like flicked my nose and I couldn't move. He's a bit Elmer in the resub, Leah. Not the best first game with Marissa. I thought that'd be a lot easier. What's the two hit for that? What is that? It's a command grab. The flick he does is the command grab. Okay. I am really struggling with Marissa.
God. Oh, that pushes me too far. Wait, why didn't I get the second? God damn it! I could have had that. I'll just let it rip and see what happens. Things a bit to guess in tier one, Zach. In the recent me hell. Yeah, Marissa is not feeling too great for me here. Here comes a new challenger. No, Blanca has too many charges. I can't play anything with a charge. the same thing every time. Nope, got him twice with that. Thanks, Gibson Zach. That was a beautiful fight. Round two. See, like this pressure is much better. Oh, but this guy's also actual dog shit. I just don't know how to really press with Marissa. She's so much slower than the other characters. Well, not really. I just have no idea what I'm doing with her. Said TJ. Yeah, I don't know how to do any of the armor moves. I don't know what her armor moves are. Here comes a new challenger. A straight punch can be charged and has armor, so the charge heavy. I just did the combo to the combo trials. But I don't know which of those had any armor. How did we not wait, how did I not break that? Yikes. Easy operation. Round two. Fight. He 
grabs off actually everything, and then I cannot... I cannot punish that jackhammer kick. Or jackknife, whatever. Thanks again, Subzak. Here's Subba Moxie. That worked out. I need to use more of her little, like, defensive stance thing. Things are used to Mason and Jason. Man, does no one do rematches anymore? What the fuck happened? That's two in a row. So that, that's just not a true combo at all, and I keep doing it. I don't know why I did that. In my world, round two. Wait, wait, what? How did he get that off? What is, what is the, like, end lag on his moves? How did he have time to get that off? What? Yeah. That's what you really do there. Jamie wins! I think you give some Zach. God, everything he does pushes him just far enough back so I can't grab for a punish. Oh, I didn't get my bar. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. 
I'm trying to get the anti-air off. Apparently down heavies are best anti-air and I have not been able to get that off in time to <laughs> punish the Jamie for jumping. Not a single time. Oh, there we go. There's one. I am trying every single time to get a drive of my own there and I just can't. It's too slow. Ah, big. Tough. Come on. It's time to train. You hold down, charge, punch, it also works. Man. That move has done me no favors. Yeah, Marissa's not really getting it done. I'm having a hard time with this character. I thought she'd be super easy. That was wacky. These are the bits numb. That's kind of cool that you can. Uh, I don't even know what this move is called. What that move is called. The putting my hands up to my face. I can do that and beat her drive. Resub kin. There's some Merwin. Man, every single person I've beaten insta quits. Because you're on modern controls, is that why? Modern controls isn't very good. <laughs> like it's it's just not. Thanks, you some kid. I think the highest placement I saw was that modern control Honda at CEO. Is it tier 120G? I don't even know what there is to complain about. If it was like actually strong, then I'd get it. Oh, god damn it. Why am I not blocking all this? I'm holding back. What is going on? 
What the fuck? All right, pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Just killing with grabs. Punishing is so free at low elo, but I don't actually like learn anything from it. I like legitimately cannot use Marisa though at all. See like that? What the fuck? Why did I Why did I not get the second hit there? Oh my god, this is so fucking sad. How am I getting hit by this? I'm holding back! Oh my god. God damn it. I don't... how I'm getting hit by it, like, every sandblast right now. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is so embarrassing. Oh my god. I can't play this character at all. Things are you said Tortellini. That move is so fucking slow! And I keep accidentally doing the normal input for it, so I get it every time. So I think it's half circle. I'm trying. Her lows are just like actual dog shit. I don't know. She's like she doesn't reach very far with her lows. At least none of the lows I'm throwing out on modern. What's your best move? The little block thing? How 
is that hitting? What is going on? Why am I getting hit by that shit? Sub Vita. Oh, yikes. I just cannot play this character. She is not for me. I at least want to get it to bronze, though. Jake. What's the phalanx move? Is it this? I've been trying, it's just really fucking awful. No, phalanx is the super punch. Thanks, Prime Coifer. Oh. Oh my god, the drive impact spamming gets me every time. I'm trying to use my own, but I have so much end lag on every move I throw out, I don't get the chance. I also wish that I had oh my God, a single good anti-air. Here comes Drive. There. Just throwing it out, maybe. Here comes drive after this. He does absolutely everything through drive, but his character's so fucking slow, I just can't do anything until I counter drive. I didn't think he'd keep spamming it, but I guess that's all he knows. I don't know how many times I need to do this to him before he stops. Thanks, Risa, Jake. Charge punch goes through drive impact, does it? Oh, how did I not break that?
This guy is like very like smooth brain. Like he only does one thing. And when it stops working, he goes to another thing and then only does that thing. It's like an actual bot. So he just does the jump in, one attack, and the grab, so I can break that every time. Which I'll probably switch up now after that. You're just gonna keep doing this, brother. Oh! That time, that time we were a little off kilter. Oh, mine didn't go in time? God damn it! Oh, I tried to, I tried to preempt a bit. I don't know how I didn't break that one. What the fuck, man? How did I not get mine? I must have been too slow. That guy was rough. I have no idea how to play this character, but that guy was exceptionally dog shit. I use Dry Brush, just I don't know how to use it effectively with Marisa at all. I just actually have no idea how to play this character. I cannot figure her out. Sub Kev. Oh, thought that was going to put her closer. Damn it. It's already fully committed. Got impatient. You can punish your little vacuum kick thing. Well, that's what I was doing. I don't know how to punish it better, though. Because, again, I don't know how to fucking play Marisa. Yeah. 
You gotta stop doing that to me, brother. Things are reset to win. Sub rack, so I have not played JP. I'm pretty sure he uses charge, though. I can't play any character that has any charge. Then again, I can't play Marisa either, and she has no charge, so you know. That's what it is. I mean that works I guess. This guy is not playing JP at all. Like I don't I don't know what he's doing. Is he learning the uh the character right now or something? Oh there you go. Does that send me- oh wow. Does this send me over his, uh, command grab? Wait, that hit? Uh oh. Yeah, it does. Have you tried Cammy no charge moves? I have not. I have not tried Cammy. That's kind of nice that I, that goes right over it. That was a beautiful fight. Round two. Fight. Yeah, no, this JP's new for sure. Poor guy. Marisa, I mean, I feel just kind of bad. That JP is very clearly new.
Eight win streak, baby. It does. It is feeling nice. But I'm still trash with Marisa. I legitimately have no idea how to play this character, to be honest. Let us begin. Give me our best shot. Round one. Fight. Oh, well, wait, you can do that in place. That's a big foot. We get him with that every time. Oh, that's too slow for a punish. I should have just grabbed, I guess. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god. Through me. I keep doing that thinking that it's fast enough. Thanks for the thin gift subs, maximum bears. Appreciate that. Thanks for the big drop. There you said Tony seized an Alice. Yeah, that guy was having a really hard time figuring out what game he was playing, I don't know what to tell you. I just don't know how to fucking approach with this character at all, really. So I just like slow walk up on them. I guess I could kind of, I could try that and then like get up here. But that feels too slow. That is how you approach with Marisa. Okay. Like the phalanx does seem good. Like it, it does. We gotta do this. Come on. I guess I just I, I'm not familiar enough with the game to know when to pull the trigger on this. To just grab. I keep going for a bigger punish. I get greedy. What is going on with these players tonight? Oh, I thought you were gonna keep going. I 
need a better punish with this character. Well, a punish at all, really, with this character. Oh, that's too much. Oh, what? Second chance. Oh, I thought he crossed me up. Oh, I wasn't looking at the time. Oh, it's one of those guys who just goes to time. That's very unfortunate. I hate kins that play like that. I don't know how I didn't break that. What can I punish with? I tried a different one there and it was too slow. Uh oh, I'm fucked. What, what can I fucking punish with? You're grabbing too late? No, I stopped grabbing. Because I wanted a better punish. Plus, he can break out of the grab every time. Actually, even got the parry perfect. That's not what I meant to do. Fuck. I am really struggling with Marisa. That's so unlucky. Didn't expect that. I tried to just spam lights at the end there. Ah, I didn't get the grab. I didn't get the grab break. Too slow. 
That's so fucking sad, I should have had that. I don't know how I didn't get the grab break. Must have been just like one frame too slow. Ah. I don't know why so many kins play keep away. It's just a very specific kin thing. I don't know why. How am I getting hit right now? Yikes. What the fuck? How did that not hit? Hmm. Tough, 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 tough. Okay. No, I know Honda's really good. Even just a normal medium. Is too slow to get my uh, drive ready. Oh. Counter drive. Damn, that was fucking clutch. Things he resub talk. Oh, it was Metal Cat. My bad. Sorry, I misread your name. Just about to drive rush. I, which would have killed me regardless, but I was about to go in.
Easy read. We take those. Okay. Squeaked it out. Unfamiliar matchup, unfamiliar character. Still got it, though. <sighs> Here comes a new challenger. Okay. How can you use modern over classic? Because I'm not good enough to actually get the inputs consistently when I need them. Like, I'll never get inputs on reaction, like the actual way of playing. Bailed out, he panicked and so did I. I thought he was about to do a Hadouken. Thought the fireball was coming. God damn it. What are you never doing so I can't do any reversal? Fuck. Nice. Clutch. Resub Sue. The Resub Dragon. Son of a bitch. I keep doing heavies in that and I can't react drive. Did not expect that. Thanks for your some crispy cream. You just teabag me? Right. Got a built-in teabag there? What, what does that move hit? Go. 
It's an overhead, so block standing. That's an overhead? Okay. I don't think that'll kill. Oh, that will kill, actually, I think. It's gonna be close. Nice. Easy, perfect to finish him off. That guy's going to bed mad tonight. I am actually shocked that I'm even bronze four with Marisa when I legitimately have no clue what to really do with her. I am fucking horrible with this character, but... We're getting there, slowly but surely. Give me two seconds, I'm going to say goodnight to Tiana. Thanks for your support, yo. And just in case anyone missed it earlier, Moist Esports is in Street Fighter 6 now. We signed Just the Kid. The announcement video is on Twitter, but I recognize with changes, most people probably can't even use Twitter, so... If you have any of your allowance of tweets left, you can check out the video. Give me two seconds, I'll be right back. Thanks for your sub, Jazzy.
Fuck. Thanks for your sub, mate. I'll check that out, Tori. Things are some boss. Challenger. Fight with all your heart. No mercy. That was closer. Ugh. What the fuck? Having a real hard time against Cami right now. Is the are the lights faster than just like a grab coming out? Must be. Okay. I should have just. I, I, I keep trying to do a better punish, but I really should have just done the norm. How did that hit? Should have just done normal. Wow, she really just kept going with it, huh? That's in her too far. Okay. That'll teach me. Panicking. Yeah, she was she was really having a rough time. Here comes a new challenger. The pleasure is mine. Oh, not far enough. Still not far enough. Wait, wait, what? Uh, 
I couldn't get the counter drive rush. That's gonna be it. Yep. Unlucky. Yeah. Run it back. Oh, I thought he was jumping for sure. No! Thanks the bitch, shark. That was a beautiful fight. Round two. Fight! No, fuck. I'm just gonna go for it. Let it ride. I think you should be. Maybe I should have just used a level 2, but I'm just gonna let it rip. Oh, that's bad read. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. He's far too patient for that. It's crazy how even with just like a normal medium kick, I can't recover in time. Oh, that's close. I can't recover- I should have drive rushed. I can't recover in time to do a counter drive impact. So fucking slow. She is so slow. That's not what I wanted. Keep forgetting to drive rush off that. She just doesn't jump at all. I would love if you took this a bit more seriously. I panicked. Round two. Fight. She is so patient, that's just never gonna work. I still wall splat?
I could have, I could have beat her. I really fell apart. What is the? Oh. Here comes a new challenger. Shall we? Give me your best shot. Round one. Fight. Brought that one back. That was looking a little scary. Sub Adams and the five gift subs mate. Appreciate that. <laughs> Man, really went turbo mode on him there. He didn't block shit. Yikes. It's so upsetting how slow that fucking move is. I thought that was going to be a harder matchup, but I think that guy's just very bad. Here comes a new 
challenger. What rank is your geef? I'm not sure, I don't remember. When, when do I punish Ken again? I don't remember. God, that just doesn't hit nearly as high as I need it to. One of these jumping forever kins. Uh, why do so many kins play like that at this elo? It's so weird. Legitimately, that this is not uncommon. He still is doing it. I literally, I actually 100% beat him with nothing but jumping with him and being first. What the fuck? I don't understand. I thought he was going up again. Okay, he's starting to learn. It's too far. Ooh, that was an accident. No way he meant to do that. It is just unreal how much this guy jumps. I've never seen someone jump this much. What a match. What what a fucking match. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> fucking yikes. Cool though. I uh, I mean whatever. I'll I'll take the I'll take the free points. Key is the streak. Yeah, we've been on good streaks with Marisa, actually. What the fuck? <laughs> this is an equally embarrassing match right now. It's just gonna be driving. Drive spam. It is actually just gonna be all drive spam though. I was just kidding, but it looks like a looks like that it is the case. And I don't have any to counter with. I didn't have any way of drive impacting back, I didn't have any.
I keep forgetting that hers sends too far to just grab off it. I need to remember that. really waiting on it. That's been happening so much. Here comes a new challenger. Yeah, I think instead of going in with the drive rush heavies, I'll go in just all lights, just for situations like that, so I can still react drive. That might be the play. Nah, and then I immediately blew it. That was quite a gamble. From both of us, that is. Sub grape. Let's go, Silver! Whee! I cannot believe I even got to Silver with this character. Oh. 
That's... Damn, damn, damn. I knew the second I jumped that I was fucked. I didn't really want to jump, but my brain was already set on it. I t oh, I didn't have any bar. I was wondering how I didn't get the uh, counter drive. I just didn't have bar. Scary. This is a close game. Oh boy. What? Huge. Clutch. That was big. Needed. I needed that one. Really needed that one. Your highest rank so far? I actually don't remember. Thanks to the resub. Magi and Scepter and people. Not bad. Too far. I keep doing that. Ooh. Man, he busted that so quick. Wait, what? Yeah, that guy really threw. He had me. He had me dead to rights. But he he let it go. Thank you. 
Bad call for me for sure. No, oh, I almost brought that back. If my drive rush had hit, I would have won. that like off of anything. Fuck. Damn. No, every character can't do that. My character can't. If I do anything not light, I cannot go into drive. Drive impact, that is. I can't DI. Thanks for your sub, Jim. Seems like a waste of time. Stream sniper? I doubt it. At silver? What would be the point? VMing? Yeah, I think so, but it's silver one, so it's extremely cringe. He's also dog shit. We're both bad. And it's one to one. Oh, how did that hit? Through my armor? Things are resub snivy. I see. I I don't really get the point. Huge. Taunt to get bodied. What a waste of time. Thanks a prime swerve. BM'd for nothing, yeah. You at least have to win when you do that. No, Jamie's tough. I think Jamie's a really good character.
Oh no, I should've just countered it. Does this kill? I don't think so. Oh, it did. I think he's a reset prime. No, Honda's a really good character. Honda's like fucking nuts in this game. Wow, that was brutal. Oh my god, that was fucking brutal. I am so sorry. Yikes. I just put nightmares in that man's head. I keep forgetting that there's three there. That was stupid. That was dumb. I, I went a little stupid there. Thanks for the resub, Casey. Nice. Alright. Pretty strong. Man, we had a terrible start with this character, but we, we ended up really fucking cruising. I think I had, what, three, eight, eight, or... Two eight game win streaks and one nine game win streak. From iron one to silver two. It's not bad. I'm starting to figure out how she plays a little bit more now. Might hit gold tonight. No, no, no. I gotta get up early, so I'm going to bed. These were good though. These are some good rounds. Once again, Moist Esports, we're in Street Fighter 6, baby. We just signed just the kid, jury main. The announcement video is on Twitter, so definitely check that out. That's Moisty Sports on Twitter. <coughs> all right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks everyone for tuning in. New subs, welcome aboard. Sub means a lot. Thanks for subbing. I'll see you in the morning. Well, not in the morning. I'll see you tomorrow night. Let's see who's streaming.
Um, I wish Just the Kid was streaming, but our schedules just do not line up like that. He streams during the day. Hey, who else is streaming? Uh, here, I'll toss you to Void. Void's grinding it. These are resub cells. And the, uh, the bits are... Alright, see you tomorrow. Thanks again.